What's up everyone, Takedown here. Welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be talking about what to do if your PlayStation 5 is not updating. Let's get right into this. Updates are important for keeping your PlayStation 5 working properly. They include bug fixes, new features, security updates, and more. You should always try to keep your console up to date to prevent experiencing any issues. If your PlayStation 5 is not updating, there could be a few things that are causing this issue. There might not be enough space on the hard drive, a network issue, or even a software glitch. The first thing to try is to reboot your PlayStation 5 in safe mode. To do this, you're gonna turn off the PlayStation 5, you're gonna press and hold the power button until you hear two beeps, now you're going to connect your controller to the console and select option one to restart the PlayStation 5. Now this is no by any means a factory reset. This is just starting and restarting the PlayStation 5 within safe mode. So it's a different way of restarting the PlayStation 5, which a lot of times this will fix a lot of issues with the PlayStation 5. Next, you're going to want to try to power cycle your console. Now this might sound scary, but it's actually super easy to do. To do this, you're going to turn off the console you're going to unplug the power cord of the PlayStation 5. You're going to leave it unplugged for at least 20 minutes or longer if you wish. Now you're going to plug it back in, turn it on, and check for an update. What power cycling is essentially doing is it's draining all of the remaining power that is inside the console out. So by leaving it unplugged, it's going to drain all of that power out of it, and then plugging it back in should reset some things. Next, try to update the console manually. First, you're gonna download the current update onto a flash drive from the PlayStation website. Next, you're gonna connect the flash drive to the PlayStation 5, and you're gonna turn on the console. Now, you're gonna to go to settings, followed by system software updates. Now simply follow the steps on the screen to complete the update manually. Lastly, if that didn't work, there's only a few things left that you can do. Now if that didn't work, you could also manually update your PlayStation 5 by entering safe mode and selecting the update option, but it's gonna be basically the same steps. You're gonna connect the flash drive, you're gonna go into safe mode, select that option, and go through the steps to update it manually. That's just another way to update your PlayStation 5 manually. Now lastly, if that didn't work, the last thing to try is to factory reset the console. Now unfortunately, there's not really too much else you can do other than the factory resetting your console, so if you are going through this route and you have tried everything else in the video, the first thing before factory resetting is to go and back up everything to the cloud so you have all of your saved progress and you don't lose anything. Once you're ready to factory reset your PlayStation 5, you're going to enter safe mode and select option 6 to factory reset, and you're going to let it go through the steps depending on how much you have saved on your PlayStation 5 and how many games you have downloaded, depends on how long it might take to complete this process. Once it's done factory resetting, you're gonna sign back in and you're going to attempt to get the current updates and hopefully that will work for you. Most people, some of the other steps will work, but if you have to go factory reset routes, then it should work definitely for you. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'll see you guys in the next one. Please take care, peace.